All right, welcome back, everybody. So this is Frostpunk. I have been waiting a while to play this game. I guess I just love the idea of infusing moral choices into a hard city builder type game. Um, yeah, okay, let's get started. our start. Let's see the generator. Yeah, fight the cold. We gotta get the generator started, or otherwise we're gonna freeze. Let's just pause the game before we do anything. But um, and just have a quick look at things. I love the um, uh, yeah the steampunk look of the game. Um, all your people are individually animated and run around, get to their jobs and everything. Yeah. Anyways, we can get a little distracted. <laughs> Just looking at things and... Uh, okay. Um, so I guess the first thing we're gonna do is let's get some coal. Um, yeah, let's just max out on one for now. And then what we really need is uh, wood crates and a little bit of um, a little bit of steel but um, we start with the uh, 10 steel and I think that should be good enough to get us going and there we go okay um, yeah let's get ev let everyone get to their their jobs and yeah get things started here I guess um, we will build a gathering post shortly but let's for today um, oh I was gonna say for today let's just start gathering wood and uh, coal but what do we have here workers needed uh oh yeah, so the way this game works is there's lots of, uh, like I said, moral choices um, that are imposed upon you. So, for example, right now there's 15 kids. Um, don't really know their ages exactly, but uh, 15 kids that are part of your initial settlement. And so one of the things you can do is, well, what do you do with your kids? You know, this is... This is is a um, you know do or die scenario it's pretty much only um, your 80 people that you start with that you know of that um, uh, might have su survived the apocalypse for all you know so hey should we get the children working or should we um, build them a shelter and Basically, I think it acts as a school, or at least a place for them to, um, yeah, somewhere where they won't cause any mischief. Um, I think, I mean, given the post-apocalyptic uh, frozen world that you're living in right now, I don't really have a problem with, you know, the children doing safe jobs and kind of, um, you know, helping us survive. Uh, I think I will pick child shelters this time around. Just, um, yeah, give them something to do. Uh, and the, it'll become more useful later on with uh, medic apprentices and engineering, engineer apprentices. I've played this game a little bit so far, but not, uh, not very far, but just to kind of get a sense of how things progress. Um, so yeah, so we'll do child shelters. And then it wants me to build a shelter. Uh, 20 wood. I steal. We'll do that in the morning. We've got a little bit of time before, yeah, basically three days before um, the promise to build a child children's shelter. Um, really comes into play. Alright. Um, yeah, let's 
increase the speed of time again. Oh, yeah. See, right now, there's our kids. <laughs> Just kind of goofing around. Giving warm, I guess. It's only minus 20 out, so it's not that bad. Very doable today. Okay, so it's getting to the end of the work shift, so let's see about um, building some shelters, because once work time is done, we can get... Um, I guess I need... Do I have enough? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks... Six, seven, eight. Shelters for everyone. Let's, oh, no, let's not turn on time yet. Let's get a medical outpost down for now, as well as, yeah, we've got enough for a cookhouse to make some food. As well, we're going to need a bunch of hunter's huts. Two, three. Yeah, we'll make them along that ring, and then we're gonna build roads to everything. And let's just extend that along. There we go. And then once that's done, built up. Um, Looks like we've got enough for, we'll either have enough for a gathering post, with which helps us gather resources, or a workshop. Um, I'm thinking, let's, yeah. Let's get the workshop as opposed, and then we'll build the gathering post later. Finish your labors, people. The work day is, work day is up. up, so now it's free time, and everyone will start building. Uh, here we go. Start building the tents and shelters for sleeping in this evening. Um, I kind of wish there was a way of telling them which buildings to prioritize. Um, because they're all going to kind of start building them willy-nilly. Which, you know, I guess isn't bad, but... You know, considering in a couple hours they're all going to stop, it'd be good if they focused on building the tents and then in the morning built the other buildings, but... Oh well. Game has just been released a couple of weeks ago, so there hasn't been a major patch or update to it, to it yet, so uh, maybe we'll have some... maybe that'll come in the future, who knows. Let's just watch everybody build their stuff. Like I said, the animations are so neat. I mean, this is all just, like, it's... Um, everything runs by... Um, calculations and spreadsheets. So once, for example, work time starts, people start gathering um, wood right away. Oh, well, what do we got going on here? So the, all the, I guess what I'm trying to say is all the animations are um, just for flavor. They're not really needed per se, but um, yeah, it just brings so much to the game to see, you know, a kid right there messing around, everyone over here walking over to tents. I should look at this before. The heating is off. Yes. Do we have enough? Um, oh, I can just turn it on right now. You know, I always thought you had to get this coal stockpile before you turned it on. Sorry, everyone. Captain's asleep on the job here. I can turn it on right away. It'll start consuming right away, obviously, but... Um, yeah. Alright. Well, warmth. Good things. Good to sleep uh, in a uh, little, little bit of warmth as opposed to minus 20. Okay, so they got the cookhouse done. And... Oh, they got the... Okay, so let's... They've got the uh, hunter's huts done, so let's... Um, 
assign them some people so that we can um, let's get let's um, take everyone off this so we can go out and start I don't know on there max max get some food going here so we don't you know starve um Trying to think, what's the what's the best way to do this? Where's my engineers? Where should I throw them? Oh, I threw them in the coal, didn't I? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need five of you to not right now, obviously, but eventually get over to the workshop and let's start with. So this is the. Uh, the tech tree broken into heating, exploration, and industry resources, food, health, and shelter. Um, heater sounds really good. Um, so does sawmill. Yeah. And then, yeah, hunter's gear. You know what? Maybe let's do that, because that'll just help our food production right away. Okay. Um, we do kind of need people. <laughs> we do kind of need people, because we've got... Um, we've got lots of possibility things to do, but nobody to operate them at the moment. Um, which basically means I need to go out and we need to go out and find some people. Oh, they're walking straight. Isn't that human nature, though? They're walking straight across the street or straight through the snow, as opposed to across uh, through the street. I know the street isn't a very direct route, but um, yeah, make a little shortcut through the. You know, four or five foot high snow. Oh, it looks like our hunters are... I think that's our hunters. Because no one else is working at the moment. Um, heading off to gather some food for us. Oh, good. All the buildings are complete. Excellent. Oh, they're just... Uh, you guys are just running into the snow. That's the plan for hunting food. Yep, just hide in the snowbank. You'll find the food that's... that's... You're not even gonna go up to... whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Yes, we can introduce a new law. Let's take a quick look. Um, may grab emergency shift. Not because I want to use it necessarily, but um, extend... Extended shift is right behind it. Oh! Do we already have access to medic and engineer's apprentices? Yeah. Interesting. So yeah, so... Now... So this is kind of a mild way of eventually, you know, essentially putting the kids to work only through a school education type program as opposed to actually... I don't know if you want to say do the work, because obviously they're doing some of the work. But here they're learning engineering, or have them uh, help out with the doctors and what. I think we're going to go with engineering. Children from child shelters will help at workshops speeding up research. Let's do it. Good. We depend on engineers for every day of our lives in the city. <laughs> it's time for the children to start earning their keep too. <laughs> uh dear. Everybody's running around. Oh, I guess yeah, free time. It's getting time to start. Um working on 
gathering. Um, I guess I could have just checked down here. Or, whatever. Um, really do need a few more people over here. Um, and I may take them off the boxes just to get the... Yeah, take them off crates, put them on the coal. There we go. 18 per hour. Let's hit this 200, get this thing done. Uh-oh. Now what? Family torn apart. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. Ah, yes, she wants us to set up the beacon so we can go scouting. We will do that when we can. Once we get the hunter's gear set up in about three hours. We will get started on it right after that. Yeah, so that's... There's a little bit of, um... Uh, I guess guiding you how you should start to progress your town because you know as you've heard me talking you kind of run out of people pretty quickly 80 people including 15 oh yeah there's the breakdown total of 80 people 15 are kids so depending on what you do with them uh, your kids will be able to work or not um, and the risks and repercussions thereof but you would basically end up running out of hands to get stuff done. Like, I probably didn't need to build um, the Hunter's Hut quite yet, because uh, I don't have anyone to, to man it right now. And this, um, actually what we should do, we've got enough resources to build a gathering post, so let's just slap that down there, and we shall build a road to it. There we go. And then once that's built, um, I guess I didn't need to build it right now because no one's going to do anything with it until the shift is over. Oh, there we go. Yep, we're out of steel. We'll figure that out in a moment once this gathering post gets built. Hunter's gear has been researched, so let's build the beacon. I forgot we need steel. Uh oh. Well, let us select it, interestingly enough. Oh, okay, I get it. Sorry, I miss I misread that. So I need eight sorry, ten wood to start research, and the beacon itself will require twenty wood thirty-five to build. Okay, so that'll give us a moment to gather up some steel and resources and um, get that going. We're good for now. As long as we kind of time that well. But the workday should be over in a couple of hours, then we'll have someone build the gathering post, and then we'll re rejig uh, where everyone is going. Almost have enough to complete our objective. We might be able to do it by the end of the day. Oh, we've got four sick. All oh, right. Okay. Let's pause. I'm gonna find. Where are my engineers? Right. Okay. So yeah, just clicking on that shows me where I've allocated them to. So I need engineers for the workshop because only they work in the workshop. I don't need engineers at the coal pile. So I'll drop that just a tiny bit, just for the moment, so we get four doctors in there so we can take care of the sick. Um, yeah, ta-da, fight the cold, yay, objective complete. Yeah, food. Um, now we need food. Yeah, we're already on that already on that, although people from our convoy basic resources secured for now, let's try to reach 
rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon, scout Frostland, and save as many survivors as possible. Alrighty. Oh, only got 16 hours on that child shelter. Hmm. Promises, promises. Okay. And have a quick look to see how much the um, child shelter. Oh, it only takes five steel. That's not bad. Let's do that. And five steel. We won't make it before the end of the day, which means we won't make it by morning. Whoopsie. Oh well. Can't, uh, can't get everything done, I guess. We'll get the child shelters set up in, in a moment. Yeah, I guess. Well, that's the problem with selecting the gathering post as opposed to the workshop. Um, structuring it that way, and I probably could have. Ah, well. We'll just live with it. It's not really a big deal. Okay, but I think i um, probably going to leave it there. We're off to a good start. Um, end of shift, free time. Yeah, I'll reset everyone here, and then yeah, we're gonna need to, we're gonna need a lot of steel. We'll probably need to take all these fifteen people, throw them all in the gathering post. We'll actually take these ten, throw them in the gathering post and keep these five on the steel. Um, yeah, I might see if I can pull a few people off here, depending on if we're running a at least a little bit of a positive on coal reserves. Okay, but yeah, I think we will leave it there for now. Like I said, I think these are uh, off to a good start. And uh, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.